Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about foot drop. If you're suffering from foot drop or if you're experiencing the foot drop after an episode of back pain, this video can hugely help you to understand that you do have a chance to recover without surgery. If you've never been in this channel, my name is Bob, I'm a physical therapist, and the purpose of this channel is to help people like yourself with simple tips and exercises for quicker recovery. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for my weekly updates and don't forget to press that like button. In this video, I would like to share with you the results of my online clients who lives in Singapore. Mohammed started uh, his rehab plan six weeks ago with me and he was suffering from a severe foot drop that he wasn't able to really walk and he had a really bad limp and he was experiencing a huge amount of sciatica pain down to his leg with tingling and numbness. But today in this video, he has improved massively and the foot drop has improved that he can actually walk around again without any pain. And I would like to share with you what was his experience about the program and what we have done with him to get him to this stage. Let's get started. Short, you know. Um, what I would like you to do um, is to just tell, tell us your story because I suppose like today we've reached to the point that I, I can't really um, um, stop of thinking that this is amazing, man, you know. Um, from where you started until now, you have had a huge progress, Mohammed. And we yeah. started you, I think, seven weeks ago, right? Yeah, six, seven weeks. Yeah, seven weeks ago. Yeah, and and maybe if you don't mind, just share with people um what happened and um, what happened because you had an injury initially. Um, when the injury happened, where do you go for after injury? Yeah, I, obviously you got MRI. Um, after you got uh, realized that you have uh, some issue with your back, where do you go and how do you end up to come to me? Um, yeah, so basically, um, you know, seven weeks ago, I start to experience like um, some back pain. Um, and then which it develops, uh, you know, into um, leg weaknesses, sciatica. Yeah, I couldn't like do much. Um, basically, uh, walking was difficult for me. Um, there was constant pain um, that, you know, kind of like uh, changed my life a lot. Yeah, I used to be um, a person, you know, who's very active and like, um, you know, I do regularly go for exercise and, you know, um, so that just changed, you know, instant instantly. Um, yeah, I was like, quite at a dark place um uh you know seven weeks ago when was it exactly um, that was in that was in um, um last year sometimes in november last right year, no november yeah um it maybe that, december early december yeah uh -huh. that was when the injury happened that's when it started yeah and mm -hmm, then mm -hmm. uh, by end of december uh so that's basically when i start to you know um develop a lot of uh, pain in my uh, legs um, yeah and you had like a foot drop basically yeah. Yeah. yeah i couldn't understand what was it um so i went to the basically uh, uh the hospital and i got diagnosed um the doctor they did mri um basically that's when they saw some you know mild uh slip discs that's what uh, the doctor told me and uh, he said that uh, there is some nerve compression on my l3 l4 location yeah, L4, uh, L5, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so a few a few places. And uh, yeah, it's all new to me, so I couldn't understand what, what was it. Um, so um, the doctor basically, they advised me to do uh, surgery uh, mm -hmm. where they, they will uh, make space, uh, you know, uh, for my nerve. And then yeah, that would they basically do a there. laminectomy, yeah. Yeah, so I was uh, very worried and I couldn't take it all in um, uh, because uh, I've always been active, like I said, and suddenly uh, someone tell or like a doctor tells me to, yeah. you know, I have to do surgery to get better. So that that of kind course. of like scared me. So I basically, um, you know, I start to, you know, before taking up surgery, I start to do my own research, you know, like uh, everyone will go to like Google and of course. search stuff, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, find some an answers. Yeah, there was a lot of information. Um, I didn't know which was right for me, what to do. Um, you know, I stumbled upon your videos, uh, basically. Uh, 
YouTube. Um, mm-hmm. And then uh, where I see, you know, stories from people. Um, so what you were saying or like uh, on your videos, they made sense to me. So I, you know, um, because I only had one option, which is surgery. Of or course. I just have to wait for it to get better. Gotcha. And I couldn't wait anymore. So mm-hmm. I have to do something. Something told me, you know, sometimes maybe you just contact this person. Maybe he can give you something. Uh, if gotcha. At least if I don't get anything, uh, I just don't at have to. At least you contact. tried. At least you tried. Yeah. So so you try. Yeah. So and then um, basically we spoke uh, in our first session. So that's where, um, you know, you start to, started to ask me questions, you know, about what happened, the history behind it. Um, you ask for a lot of details. Um, and then from those details, you kind of come, came up with a program to me. Um, um, and uh, yeah, at first it was uh, basically I tried to follow the steps and the exercises that you gave me. Um, yeah, in the first two weeks, I couldn't feel any, you know, uh, like uh, progress. Like I, of course. I don't know if I did the right decision. I was just, Got uh, you. Basically, you know. Uh, just try to do, but uh, I still feel the pain. I was at a very bad mental uh, state where, like, um, there was no light. I don't know that I will recover. Of know? course, of course. Uh, and tell me, pain. tell tell me, uh, tell them more about like how was how was day to day living, like walking and doing things with the foot because the, you had a foot drop and it was it was not yeah. really uh, yeah. it was uh, very possible bad. to walk. Mm, yeah. How was that uh, moment? Yeah, so basically, um, for like uh, almost four to six weeks, I was, uh, you know, um, at a very bad state and a bad shape where um, I couldn't walk properly. Um, I walk with basically, I feel like my left leg is very weak Mm -hmm. uh, and walking was not easy. If I walk like 100 meters, I will start to have this sharp shooting pain down my leg, my left leg. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, basically that will just, you know, uh, makes me, you know, shut down, just want to sit down and, and, and uh, you know, don't do anything. So um, basically I couldn't do anything. I, I, I just didn't enjoy that period of time. Um, my legs were weak. I... <laughs> um, the only thing that makes me feel better was just sitting down or lying of down. Of course, yeah. of course, yeah. So walking, I couldn't, yeah, I, I didn't enjoy walking uh, at all. Uh, yo, so, yeah, so that's basically how I felt uh, in that period. Um, yeah, until I start to, you know, um, do the program that you gave me. Got you. Yeah. And, and, um, and Go ahead. And what do you find about the program helpful, uh, Mama? Yeah, so so I feel like the program was very detailed. Um, everything is there for me uh, to follow. Um, all the all I had to do was you know get myself to follow the 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 the, the program and the exercises and the mobility workouts especially. So um, yeah, so the first two weeks uh, I tried them. I didn't see any you know changes, uh, and then the third fourth week I start to feel some of the, the changes in my body um the pain like uh, subside i can uh, walk a little bit better yeah uh, yeah and then on to the fifth and sixth week you know i start to get my strength on my leg back yeah uh, yeah which was really good and uh, yeah so so following this program it kind of like made me feel the progress from where I was, you know, seven months ago. Yeah. So I'm trying to stick by it right now um, because um, it's really working and uh, I feel like I've made the right decision, uh, you know, from the past uh, seven weeks. So, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. How's the walking right now, uh, Mohamed? What's your daily uh, mileage right now? Just, just to share with people. Yeah, so uh, now I'm walking around, you know, 6,000 to 7,000 steps. Uh, daily? So... Yeah, daily compared to what it was uh, six weeks ago. You know, I only can walk uh, one thousand steps a day, and it was all uh, painful. Yeah, and it was painful. You know, walking one thousand steps with pain. Uh, yes, and now yes. it's walking 
six to seven thousand steps with uh, no pain or like uh, very less, pain. Yeah, less pain. Amazing. So yeah, this is the progress that I see, and um, yeah, uh, I think it's very important to you know uh, get diagnosed well um, to un to to have someone to understand what's bothering you, what's the yeah. issue, and then to to properly uh, have a program for you so that uh, you can follow. Which means yeah. clarity, having clarity and having a basically a structure to follow. Yeah. And yeah. also the most important thing is uh, your mental. Um, it's very important that you have to trust um, what you are doing. Um, you 100%. need to believe that you will basically uh, be better um, and just stick to what you are doing uh, and then uh, you will see results because for me i i see results it's it's no doubt i i don't believe that surgery would have uh, you know uh, made me uh, maybe if i don't stick to the exercise program uh, i don't think surgery alone will uh, will make you feel better you still need uh, recovery you still need uh, of course yeah uh, 100% exercise. And and, and and you mentioned today, uh, um, um, Mohammed. after like seven weeks, we have this conversation and uh, I was asking you, how's the foot drop? How's the walking? And, 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 and it's just suddenly gone. Yeah, it's everything is now gone. Basically, I can feel my legs. I can feel the strength on my leg. Um, yeah. I'm starting to do more. I, I, yeah. I want to do more. Um, yeah, yeah. To challenge my body, you know. Uh, from seven weeks ago, um, I didn't want to do anything. Now I'm at a state where I'm constantly trying to do more. So like I want to challenge my body. So being at, motivation. At, yeah, being at this stage where you want to challenge your body, it brings excitement again. It brings of course, uh, man, and motivation. Yeah, yeah, motivation again, and and it mm -hmm. keeps you at a happy place. Um, of course, man. Of course, that's, that's, yeah. that's very important. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And and uh, you mentioned that sciatica pain initially was really bad. How would you yeah. how would you describe that when that actually settled down? Yeah, so from the um, I would say for the fourth and the fifth week, you mm -hmm. can uh, basically for me, I start to have um, less episodes of sciatica. Yeah, uh, you know, I used to have it like four, four, five times a day. Uh -huh. um, and basically it start to you know become like twice a day and then once a day yeah. and now basically on certain days i don't feel any sciatica or like amazing uh, uh, for the past two weeks i didn't feel any pain sharp shoot shooting pain down on my leg um so yeah so that's for me that's the that's that's uh, uh that's the most progress that i've gotten so far of yeah. course, man. Of course. Yeah, man. I'm delighted, man, with your progress. And uh, Mohamed, um, if you have somebody who, who's suffering from disc bulges or, or something similar to you, sciatica and foot drop, um, would you recommend um, this program or, or would you recommend to at least have a consultation to just get some clarity? Yes, definitely. Um, um, you know, um, if anyone out there is like suffering from you know a disc and being diagnosed with like uh uh any disc bulges or nerve compressions um what i would say um is to do not overthink about it just um just get you know um help, help. Uh, and how you do that is basically you need to get diagnosed correctly you need to share your history of um you know uh what injury. happened how yep your injury uh, details with the right person. and for me i basically shared all these details to bob and that's where um bob you know uh i uh, came up with the program and for me i would recommend this program if you are feeling you know uh, any pain in your lower back and mm -hmm. you've been diagnosed with any disc bulges and things that you you have no idea about uh speak to bob i think he will uh you know uh diagnose you properly and we'll have a program that i feel like it might work so it will really work it not, might listen it will thank work. thank you thank you for that and um, i'm happy to hear that because you live in um singapore 
and yeah. we are far far away from each other and and i suppose it's great feeling to see you man recovering and you're doing really well and you're pain free and you have hope again you know and go back we are going to take you back to uh, what you want to do the most you love to play football and uh, we want to get you back in that stage and we want to share with you with, with people in future we want to get you back to the gym in a couple of weeks time and get you feet again because um that that um level of intensity will help you to get back in what do whatever you want um is yeah. there anything else that you'd like to share uh, uh Mohammed, with people that we didn't discuss yeah. um yeah i think most of it um i've shared already um yeah i i just want to tell anyone out there that uh, if you are feeling any pain um just uh just trust yourself that you will get better um amazing it's, that's that's the that's the that's the the key uh factor thing for you no factor Absolutely. yeah yeah, yeah. So, like, you will get better um and trust your body that it it will recover um, 100% i would say do not go into surgery without uh trying, uh, trying. yeah absolutely If and, and it doesn't work out surgery is always there. yeah exactly and and you know like the thing is that um the message that you're saying I'm 100% um agree with that and just like trusting your body and doing something in a day to day no matter how little it is yeah you need some feedback you know what i mean and if it's measurable and if it's something that you can trust that it's going to help you as you mentioned earlier it's just going to get you back in there Mama, thanks again for sharing your 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 results, man. I'm delighted, man. Um, I couldn't be happier, man. Uh, we're gonna share more updated program when we get you back to the gym and playing, showing you playing football. You know. Um, I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you are suffering from foot drop, you do have a chance to recover without surgery. However, this is not included for everybody. We always start with a conservative treatment for at least six months, and if things didn't change, then you may need to do some sort of Uh, invasive treatment but I believe that you do have a chance to recover if you never give your shot and you never try you never know I would like to share with you my other clients who lives in Bahrain who was experienced with similar um, basic injury and, and problem in the link below that you can watch with the foot drop and you can basically see he was and uh, basically suffer for it for around a year and he finally recovered after six months of rehab plan and he's back into the gym and he's training now pain free if you need any uh, basically consultation or help and you, or you want to get a second opinion i would be more than happy to get you started on a plan that suits you and create a customized plan that get you started on the right path make sure to uh, send me a message or send me an email with a link below If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, make sure to subscribe. There's more content and exercise rehab plan that's on the way in a weekly basis uh, for your recovery. Thank you so much for your support and I'll see you guys in the next week. All the best.